Hey guys, this is uh, part two of my Unity 3D scripting tutorial on uh, the conversation system back end. Uh, I'll, we'll join it already in progress. Thank you. So let's open up Interact Script again. The way we're going to want to do this is first we're going to want to come back up here and create a second bo uh, private boolean called menu. So private boolean menu. We're going to have it equal to false at the beginning. Okay. And if we scroll down here, down to the on GUI, we're going to, when this hits hit, we're going to want to do uh, menu equals true. That's simple. And after that, what we're going to want to do is come down here and create an if statement after all this. We'll do if menu and we're going to create our, our little GUI button here. So first things first, let's do a GUI box. So this will be the where we contain all the buttons and uh, conversation topics. So put GUI dot box. It's going to be a new rectangle. Rec. It's going to be zero comma. Now we're going to do screen height. Screen dot height, but we're going to divide that by three, but also times it by two. This, uh, this is the starting value. This is where the, so it'll be two thirds of the way down the screen is where it starts. And then we're going to do screen width. Screen, well, sorry, screen dot width. And then we're going to do screen height. So it starts at zero. And then it also starts uh, two thirds away. It starts at zero on the. Uh, the x-axis and then it starts at uh, two-thirds the way down the screen on the y-axis it has the exact same screen width so it covers the entire screen width and then on the screen height side it is going to be divided by three so it's one-third of the screen height okay and we are just going to call this dialogue test dialogue sorry don't know how to spell dialogue test. Okay. Oh, don't forget to do quotes. I'm gonna open this up a bit, and don't forget to close up the value. So if we, we'll save this real quick and take a look. So what this will do is we walk up, if it'll let me run it, we walk up, press it, and then we got a dialog box at the bottom. Now what we want to do is add a button in there. Right now this button is just kind of placeholder. What we're going to want to do is have multiple like lines of dialog, but we, we want to have a button in there so that we can close it and have this interaction close the box and get us back to normal. So first we're going to do... Oh, the other thing is we also want to clo get rid of the the dialog box that says uh, press E to enable uh, to interact. So we're, what we're going to do is the best way I found to do this is just disable the the text box. So we're going to disable it, and we'll re-enable it once they press the button. So first, now we're going to do is we're going to create a button within the uh, 
if statement. So it's going to be GUI dot button. And it's going to be a new rectangle. And it's going to be screen screen dot width divided by two and we're going to do minus 25 this is because the uh, actual width of the box is going to be 50 so we want it to be kind of centered okay and then the next uh, the next one is going to be screen height this is basically just showing where the placement is going to be screen height divided by four times it by three I'm doing this because I have tested it out a little bit that's kind of where I want it in this but uh, if, you, if you guys want it further down further up you can change those values a little bit so the width of the box is going to be 50 and the height of the box is going to be 30 uh, button I mean and we're just going to call it talk so we go up there and we can talk to the thing and so what we're going to want to do is close up the new button and then close up the if statement and then inside the if statement what we're going to want to do is take all of these values from up here and just make them opposite so we take this to equal to true true True, true, and show cursor needs to be now false, false, and menu needs to be false. What we're also going to do is enable target. So we take target enable, false, let's copy it down here, we're going to make that true. So this basically what this does is this re-enables all the scripts that we disabled before and that should give us the back end for a conversation system. So we've got that all saved. There's no errors. There is an error. Let's see. Uh, I'm sorry. Hang on. So if GUI button dot new rectangle screen width there we go moron sorry let's make sure there's nothing else there okay let's save see if that gets rid of the errors okay that should get rid of the error so we run it okay so we go up here hit press interact we now have a dialog box and we hit talk and when that hot we go back to normal so that's the basic back end for a conversation system. What we'd need to go in after this, which will probably be my next tutorial, is going in and creating the actual conversations that we do. So thank you for watching. Bye.